Welcome to QDL. QDL is your look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dr. Sharm, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest. According to a recent Forbes and ASQ survey, only about 46% of organizations indicate that quality values are consistently applied in their organization. Uh, quality teams recognize the value of an organization-wide quality culture, but they struggle with creating one. Um, we all know that quality needs to be a top priority and we're quality professionals, that's our job, right? Um, and this is especially true today when sometimes the only differentiator from one vendor to the next is the quality of their product. Everyone from the CEO to frontline operators play a role in delivering quality, and they need to understand their role in ensuring quality. In a high performance culture of quality, people take ownership of problems rather than just sweeping them under the rug. So the question is, how do we get to that point? We know it's important, but how do you instill a culture of quality? Well, one company that has experience in addressing that question is Kaiser Aluminum. And joining us today is Hong Su, Vice President of Quality at Kaiser Aluminum. Hello, Hong. Hi, Doug. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, uh, so is quality, is a quality culture more important today than it has been in the past? And if so, why is it more important now? I mean, there are several, there's a lot of things that uh, I can um, touch on, uh, particularly uh, with the pandemic and uh, the, all the changes that uh, are occurring. I think the, the quality and the quality culture are more important than ever. Um, one thing we all know that, uh, that the, a lot of companies, businesses, businesses are short of uh, people and everyone's looking for people. We can't find them and uh, uh, we find them and a lot of them leave. So we have higher turnovers. Um, that shortage, I think, uh, is, is the environment in which that this, it becomes a challenge because you have to train people and you have to train them and so that they know the culture, they can get uh, indoctrinated into the culture and perform their functions. And when there are so many um, turnovers or that it's so hard to find new employees and then the pressure of continuing the, the manufacturing, the business uh, will rest on the existing people who may be um, shouldering more load than them before. So that um, uh, all of these present a challenge to quality and quality culture and have the right culture and uh, is, is, is very important to ensure that we, even given all those challenging environments, we continue to do what we ought to do and recognizing the risks uh, involved because of this uh, workers shortage as well as the supply chain issues, supply chain issues, because um, we have to do things that we normally don't do. We have to shuffle things around. As, as we all know in manufacturing, as in a, a, everything else, so when we do things in a normal process, we can do very well. But when we change our process on a dime or because we have to shuffle things around, we have disruptions, we have risks. I think it's important to have the culture where the people recognize that the, these risks exist so we avoid, um, um, avoid problems. So, I mean, so you just mentioned that you, you mentioned uh, it's, it's important to establish this culture of quality. And I think you, you also actually laid out something I, I think a lot of people don't think about is because of the employee turnover, as you mentioned, training is an important part, what, what, training in anything, but particularly quality, it's a time consuming process. And obviously if you're constantly turning over employees, then, then the training's going out the door as they come in. So yep. it's a little difficult. Um, why, is, why was developing a culture of, of quality important to Kaiser? I mean, you've been doing it for a while. Uh, wh why was that, uh, uh, why did it get started at Kaiser? Um, I joined Kaiser in 2001. And when I joined the, the, the I think it already had the quality um, as it's a, one of its top priorities for some time. And, uh, um, and, that, and that has been consistent for Kaiser Aluminum. Um, I think that's just, you know, we, we try to ingrain that into the DNA of the company. And uh, best in class is like the, our guiding principle 
and our mantra and our attitude, and that's ingrained. And I think um, um, for competitive reasons, for 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 the, uh, uh, I think it may have something to do with uh, where our products go to, our products go to planes and uh, defense and uh, uh, automotive and general engineering, uh, many critical applications, and there's very little tolerance uh, for uh, for for quality issues. Um, and also for us being a material supplier, if there's any issue, uh, if it's not discovered uh, very quickly, there's no traceability. So the scope can get significantly huge. Uh, I think I read sometimes that say that something that says that product liability is not bad, but uh, unlimited product liability is bad. So when we faced with that kind of a potential uh, expensive scope, uh, because loss of traceability uh, as, a, as a raw material supplier, we I think that's part part of the reason. But I think it's overall it's the business decided the leadership decided the quality is top priority and has been so uh, since the very beginning. And to maintain our competitive position, to expand and uh, and and to uh, strive for a brighter future for the business and for our for the livelihood of our our employees. Sure. Um, so I mentioned in, in, in the intro is that even though everybody understands that quality is important, I mean, you know, this has been, been drummed in, into us since the day we probably first started any company that worked work for us. We all would agree that having a culture of quality is important, and yet companies still struggle to build that culture. Now, I think you mentioned part of that reason is like, particularly right now is just turnover. There's, you're turning over employees so fast, it's hard to get the culture going when people are leaving. But um, what are some other issues? And, and maybe share with us, uh, if you can, uh, some of the, the hurdles that Kaiser Aluminum had to, had to overcome in order to build a quality culture. Um, yeah, I, certainly I can. Um, I, I have to preface what I say that this is just our experience, our view, our perspective, and every company is different. And this is a very complex question. And I can't uh, um, you know, attempt to answer all the, to give all the answers sure. uh, to this question in this, in this interview. Uh, I would just try to distill that down to a few things, um, okay. again, in our view. And uh, by no ways, we, we think we are perfect, we are where we want to be, but our journey continues. I think the, the company has to have the right tone at the top, and then we focus on that at Kaiser. Um, that's the bigger context, that's the overall culture, because you can't have a quality culture in isolation. That doesn't exist. Culture permeates everywhere. And so you have to have the bigger context to uh, give the environment and also function as the underpinning of, of the culture or, as, or the, the quality culture. I think the um, um, one thing that uh, is difficult um, is that you have a tone at the top, that's the message and that provides the vision. And, but we have to build something underneath that. And the, all the decisions made have to be consistent with the tone at the top. And if there are inconsistency, the, the tone at the top could lose the credibility qu very quickly. And, um, um, and I think the um, ethics and integrity um, is also one of the underpinnings, uh, very important. And I think that's, that's a core piece of our tone at the top. And uh, um, we say in Kaiser is that we want to win with integrity and ethics. That's part of a winning strategy. And I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. Um, at many other places. So I think uh, good must have a tone at the top, but all the decisions made, not only just the top CEOs, but also from at all levels have to reflect that. And uh, if they are not consistent, the culture um, probably, it, it becomes very difficult to build that up. And two, I would say is that um, when we make attempts to build a culture, <clears throat> Um, people normally don't just listen to what uh, is said. <laughs> of course. Right? 
they right. can they can they look at what the, what people what 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 decisions are made or yeah. what was said or was was not said to decide for the true intentions and motivations so i think that's very important and and even if we say made a lot of effort to build up a culture a couple of decisions made could easily cause uh, the culture to be undermined and right. that is a challenge and uh, yeah. sometimes we make decisions that seem to be uh, with good intentions harmless but not realizing the long-term implications on the culture it may be a small thing but the implications are significant the other, other thing is that it's uh, it can get on a slippery slope and we don't even realize it the culture can erode slowly over time until it become it, it, it goes out of control so right. the the other thing i think uh, they maybe for quality professionals there are some confusion between you know culture and tools and methods the tools and methods by themselves are not going to i think make a cause the culture to change are not going to change the culture it's the people people have right. to have the right mindset right cultural cultures because they control every aspect of any system any methods and they, they can design create and improve or otherwise um well, Hung, I, I don't, I, I don't, uh, I, I don't want you to give away everything here because you've got, you've got a great. I, this is really interesting, and I, I like talking about the culture of a company. You have a webinar coming up next week where you're going to go into a lot more detail on this. Um, uh, that's uh, for those of you uh, watching this. Uh, that's uh, next week. That's October 26th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 uh, p.m. Eastern. Um, there's a link underneath the player page down there. That'll be, uh, it's called The Culture of Quality, Why a Quality Culture is More Important in 2022 Than Ever, and How You Can Create One. And uh, Hong here is going, to be, uh, is going to be leading that, and he's going to have a lot to say. Um, just tell us a little bit, maybe just briefly, a little bit of what you're going to cover. Obviously, we're hearing part of it now, but what are some of the other things you're going to cover in the webinar? Um... I think I'll, I'm going to talk about uh, why the culture of quality is important. Why it, um, what, 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 more about our journey, showing some results, as well as that how our mindset uh, has, has has transformed over the last twenty years, uh, because we have been doing this for the last twenty years um, consistently, and uh, the, um, um, and then. I will share that uh, the experiences, lessons learned uh, in our journey that is continuing um, about, you know, building and sustaining the, the quality culture uh, in, in, as, as part of the overall company culture at Kaiser Aluminum. Okay. Uh, well, it, sound, it sounds interesting. I, I can tell just from talking uh, with you right now that, that you're passionate about, about this and particularly what's going on at Kaiser Aluminum. So I'm looking forward to watching this. I encourage all of you who are watching this uh, right now to register for that um, register for that uh, webinar. Like I said, the link is right underneath the payer page there. Just click that. That'll take you out there. It's a free webinar. So um, uh, just take an hour of your time and, uh, and watch something that's going to be really important probably for your company. Um, Hong Zhu, uh, Hong Su, I'm sorry, Vice President yep. of Quality at Kaiser Aluminum. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to talk to us. Uh, no problem. It's my pleasure and honor to have the opportunity and also to have the opportunity to share what we have done at Kaiser Aluminum. Okay, thank you. And that you is it for today's uh, QDL. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Uh, as usual, if you have any topics you'd like us to cover or people you would like us to interview, just email us at qdl at qualitydigest.com and we will do our best to bring them on the show. That's it for today. Thanks a lot. See you at the next QDL. So long.